Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ajwa and I hope this video finds you well. If you are new to this place, please consider subscribing. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support as always and welcome back. I believe if you are here, it can be established that you truly love fragrances. And sometimes it can be a daunting task trying to figure out which fragrances you already have in your collection that is not a, a duplicate of something that you want to purchase. Especially when you are de dealing with uh, Middle Eastern fragrances or dupe fragrances. Most of the houses are duping these designer and niche fragrances. So you get a lot of houses getting um, duping or bringing out very different variations of one particular fragrance, you know, especially when those fragrances are quite hyped up. So in this video, I have about 15 fragrances in my collection, which I have seen other variations of it from other houses that I believe are total redundant if you try to get them. And um, I just want to bring that to your attention. I'm not going to delve into any notes, you know, I'm just going to go straight to the point and just tell you which one I believe is a, du a duplicate of each other. The very first one I have here is from Latafa, and this is from their Al Noble series known as um, Amir, but it's a very beautiful, sweet fragrance. This one is a duplicate of Rosendo Mato number no. 5, and the one fragrance which is also making the rounds, which is equally a dupe of um, Rosendo Mato number no. 5, is Ish Al Shuk by um, Latafa. So the same brand doing the, the same fragrances twice. This is from the Al Noble line and this is like the, the real house, but they are the same scent profile with this one just being a little sweeter. And this one no, um, known to have a little bit of some bent rubber um, vibes to it. But the dry down, everything is basically the same. So if you have a mirror, I don't think you need um, is the um, Ish Al Shoot Gold by Latafa from the same brand. You don't really need them. The next fragrance I would like to talk about is Maya by Latafa. And one fragrance I believe this one is similar to is Alive Now by, um, I think it's by Alhambra. I'll just put the pictures of the ones that I do not have in my collection um, on the screen. This is a very, um, it's been compared to Amani's My Way with a dash of Angel um, Nova. It is a very sweet effervescent fragrance and it is so similar to Alive Now. They are both fruity, effervescent, happy-go-lucky scent. So I truly believe if you, you have um, Maya by Latafa, you don't, leave, you don't need Alive Now. It's also quite similar to Musuf Wadi, which is also known to be um, a clone of um, Angel Nova with a bit of um, My Way. So if you have Maya, which I believe is like a top tier when it comes to Middle Eastern fragrances. It's a very good one. You, I don't think you need a life now and vice versa. If you have um, Musuf Wadi and um, a life now, you don't need Maya. They are both serving the same purpose. So if you buy those three, it's just going to be redundant. The next fragrance I have here is quite a new one to my collection. And this is a beautiful pineapple, um, saffron. It doesn't have the note of saffron, but I get something saffron, but it's predominantly a cardamom, red fruits, and some, um, pineapple with some few, you know, other notes. And this is, um, Madawi by Arabian Wood. This is absolutely a beautiful fragrance. And if there is any one fragrance I believe this one is close to, it is Lamar by Kajal. Mawadi by Arabian House and Lamar by Kajal are quite close. They are not the like exact duplicates of each other, but I believe if you have this one, you don't necessarily need um, Lamar. Although that one is sweeter with that pineapple with a bit of um, um, smoky or grilled um, pineapple, this one doesn't come across as grilled, but it gives you the same vibes. It, it is not necessarily the exact replica, but it gives um, Lamar vibes, you know. So if you have Mawadi by Arabian Wood. I don't think you need um, Lamar by Kajal. They are both very beautiful, um, fruity, floral fragrances with the pineapple being the most prominent. The next fragrance I have here is one that I adore. And this is also by Latafa. And this fragrance is known as Lumen. It is part of, no, it's not from Latafa. It's from F.A. Paris. And it's part of the Giovanni Lorenzo line. It is a beautiful fragrance. Um, and it's a dupe of um, Creed Aventus. The colon. I much prefer Creed Aventus colon over the original Creed Aventus because this one feels a little more lighter. I don't know, brighter to me. And the one fragrance that I believe if you have this one, you do not need this Club de Nuit Intense Man. This to me is a better version of Club de Nuit Intense Man. Like 
I, be, I, 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 I give all the respect and you know all the accolades that Club the New Intense Man has, but this one to me it's like a better, smoother blend of Club the New Intense Man, the OG. There's been some reformulations which I believe are a bit better, but this is a truly beautiful, gentlemanly um, fragrance. It, it, it's like a spot on dupe for. Um, Creed Adventures Cologne, and um, if you have this one, you absolutely do not have any need for Club the New Intense Man. The next one I have here is a perfect office gentleman scent. Although it is quite unisex, it is marketed towards men, and this is Kismet um, for Men by Latafa. This is a beautiful um, office appropriate fragrance. If you have this one, you absolutely do not have any need for the tax by Alhambra. When I tested the Tax by Alhambra, I found that even more deeper. I much prefer the Tax by Alhambra, you know, in terms of the, the, the richness that that one has. But this one equally does a good job, you know, um, duplicating um, uh, Monstach or um, the original version. I've forgotten that it just escaped me, but I'll just put the original version up on the screen. It is a very good one. It also has the, the, um, the same vibe of, as... Um, the Cadence by um, Mark Jacobs. And this is a beautiful one. If you have this one, you absolutely do not need the tax. The tax is quite a beautiful one. I prefer that over this, but because I have this one, I don't feel the need to have the tax. But if you have this one or vice versa, you don't need, um, if you have this one or the tax, you don't need the other because they perform like almost the same. The only thing is I find the tax more richer and a little more, you know, Oomph with some oomph than um casemates for men but this is equally a beautiful fragrance so to avoid redundancy if you have this one you can guess avoid um the tax by Alhambra and also you can also try um Dolores by Fragrance World they are all in the same vein if you have Dolores by Fragrance World it is not too far from this I guess consider that one as a, a hair's version and this one a his version as they rightly are this next one is a court favorite and I'm talking about Kismet Angel by Alhambra. This is a very beautiful rendition of Killian's Angel Share. I have Camera, but I don't believe it is like the exact replica. Camera is a bit sweeter with that much more pronounced apple pie um, nuance to it, much more than this one. I believe if you have this one, you do not need Cocktail Intense by Fragrance World. Kismet Angel and um, Cocktail in Intense are more uh, forward when it comes to the, the, the boozy aspects, much more than um, Camera. And Camera also has the dates and everything, which makes it a bit different. But this one and Cocktail Intense are quite similar. So I believe if you have this one, you don't necessarily need Cocktail Intense. No matter how new you are to Middle Eastern fragrances, I believe you have come across Ajoad at one point. That is a beautiful rendition of um, Roses Vanille by Mansera. And there are others which have come up, you know, like lately that I believe you, you, you don't need to have once you have a drug. And one such is Ladath by Latafa. I'm a bit confused because Ladath is also by Latafa. It's part of their Pride collection, but it is very similar, you know. And one of that fragrance that I will also talk about or touch on is Taf Al Hub, which is equally by, I believe that, that is also by Latafa. If I'm wrong, I'll just correct it. But these are fragrances that are similar to Ajoad that I feel if you, you have Ajoad, which like came up, um, came up much, um, longer than Ladath, then you don't need, um, Ladath. This is a beautiful version. Tav Al Hub is also a beautiful version. It's just a little bit watered down. I think the only thing that would save people, um, or uh, make people go for Ladath is the fact that this one has a sort of metallic nuance to it, which sort of puts people off. But that metallic nuance is even one that if you allow this one to sit for a while, it just completely goes down and it becomes a bit more tolerable. So if you are not into that metallic nuance that this one has, then you can go for Ladath or Tab Ahab by um, Latafa. Those are beautiful fragrances, but they are all in the same family. And I believe if you have this one, you don't need those two. The next one I have here is Watani Intense Gold, which is not such a popular one, but the other variation of it is quite a popular one, which is Oud Al Layal by My Perfumes Arabiat. These are quite similar. 
with this one being like a smoother silkier more tolerable version of um oud alaya which you both feel is too pungent this one is a beautiful one so i believe if you have this one you absolutely do not need um the other if you have one you do not just that you find this one to be a better blend silkier more um um, mass appealing, more tolerable, much more than Oud Alaya. But they are both beautiful um, fragrances, you know, rose with some sort of violets. Um, this one has some honey and uh, um, some cloves and other additional notes. They are both very beautiful, but I find this one a little more sophisticated, much more than the Oud Alaya. So if you, you, you already have this one in your collection, you probably do not need this one unless you there's something about this that bothers you and you just want to replace it with a um, Watani um, Gold Intense. That is the only difference. The next one I have here is a deep of initial side effects and this is um, by F.A. Paris and this is known as After Effects. This is quite a, a new one to my collection. I have not really reviewed it in total yet but if you are looking for um, a deep of side effects that is the one that you have to you can consider if you already have after effect you do not absolutely need aftermath intro by fragrance world they they, they are just the same fragrances the same scents the same vibes the same everything performance longevity everything is absolutely the same so if you have this one save your money when it comes to aftermath uh, intro by fragrance world this next one is one of my favorite cheapies of all time, and this is Ophelia Intense by Fragrance World. If you have Ophelia Intense, then you've made a, a very good purchase. You have absolutely no need to get ornament by Afnan. That is a cheaper alternative. I think it even outperforms Afnan's um, ornament, which is equally, you know, a beautiful one. But if you have the option of getting this one, save your money and go for this one rather than ornament by Afnan. This is a very beautiful one. They are all duping uh, Olympia Intense by Paco Rabanne. And this is one, the one that I prefer because it's like great value for your money, you know, and the scent is like to die for. If you have this one, save your money. You do not need uh, ornament by Afnan. This next one is a hype master. It's been hyped for quite some few years now. And this is Shalina exclusive by Fragrance World, a beautiful rendition of um, um, Delina, the original. It is a very beautiful one, like very identical to the original. If you have this one, you absolutely, absolutely have no need for Club de New Imperial, which is like 10 times the price of Shalina exclusive. You absolutely have no need for that. It is a beautiful one. Club de New Imperial is a beautiful, thicker, sort of richer version. But this one equally does the job. You, you, if you have this one, you can just ignore Club de New Intense. Um, Club the new Imperial. You can also avoid um, Asdaf, Asdaf's um, Princess of Arabia, which is also a dupe, but I find that to be like a lighter floral sort of uh, version, but they are all in the same Delina exclusive family. The next one I'm going to talk about is one that I do not have, and this is Kaid Alpha Sun, a very beautiful grilled pineapple um, scent, very unisex in, in nature. It is nothing to compare to... Um, Creed Aventus or Club de Nuit, you know, just because of the pineapple, not people assume it smells like that, but it is quite different. It also has that oak mossy, earthy touch, but somehow it is quite different. If you have Kaid Alpha Sun, one fragrance I feel will be redundant is Rave Now. They are both very similar. They give off this grilled pineapple vibes with some earthy, oak mossy um, touches to it, but they, they are very, very, you know, very, very similar. You don't need one if you already have the other in the collection. If you have Rave now, you don't need Kaida for sun and vice versa. So those are the two pineapple based um, fragrances that I believe you just need one and it will serve you the purpose of those two. Faka Rose has been on the market for a while and in more recent times I've seen um, a harmless version which is Lentrud, you know, and that one is an obvious um, dupe of um, Givenchy's Lentradi with a bottle and the name but this one is like not so much of an obvious um, dupe but it is the same you know it is a dupe of it so if, i believe if you have this one you absolutely have no need to get a humbrous length length through you know i'll just put the picture up here so that you know exactly what i'm talking about that one is quite obvious but this is like um totally different you know so if you have this one you absolutely have no need for length uh, you know and vice versa 
This next one is also a cult favorite. It's, it's also one of my favorites in, in terms of um, smoky um, vanillas. And this one is um, Amia Oud by Latafa. A very beautiful sort of cold weather fragrance. Very unisex, mass appealing in my opinion. And if you have this one, you absolutely have no need to get um, Maj Al Sultan by Ashdaf. Maj Al Sultan is a beautiful rendition, both um, rendition of... Um, Maisie Magellis by the fireplace, but I find this one a little sweeter. You know, this one has that, some sugar. It has like that sweet sort of um, undertone to it, which I find very beautiful. So I believe if you have this one, which is like in the same family as um, as Dove, uh, Marge Al Sultan, you absolutely do not need both in your collection. If you have the um, Marge Al Sultan already, you don't need to get um, Amir Al Oud. I, I will not say I'm recommending one over the other because both are very beautiful. But if you have one, you don't you don't need the other. Just a little differences here and there, but it's quite insignificant for you to ignore and enjoy one over um, the other. So that is um, Amir Aoud by Latafa. Unless you want to be extra, you absolutely do not need these two. This is Arabian Oud um, Reseller and this is Shagaf Oud, um, Swiss Arabian Shagaf Oud. They are in the same family quite different with this one being like a smoother non wood uh, you know version of sugar food reseller has absolutely no wood in it you know it has zero wood it has some chocolate rose um saffron combination whilst this one has some wood but in the air they smell so much alike that if you have reseller you do not need um sugar food unless you there's that bothersome um wood in it that you do not like then you can maybe just get the reseller instead of chaga food but you have these two they are definitely there are some differences here and there but they are quite um differences that you can ignore you know if you have you love that oriental vibe um fragrances so reseller is one that if you have then you do not need um chaga food one of the reasons why i chose to buy reseller even though i have um um, Chagav wood is because this one is like a better blend. It doesn't have any rough around the edges and I guess consider this one like a smoother, silkier, better um, option to Chagav wood. So I consider this one as my main fragrance and I'll use this one as my backup bottle. That is the only reason why I bought um, Reseller even though I had Chagav wood. So that is the difference but you you really don't need these two unless you are that extra i've never owned oud mood neither have i ever owned shake al shuyak um, laxate edition they are quite similar to um shagaf oud and um reseller people have compared it to it but to me they are totally different i find those two to be prominent in that caramel like it's more caramel based rather than the oud and rose there's some prominent caramel sweets you know sort of vibe to it and um you don't get a lot of the rose wood you get a rose wood combo but the rose is quite lighter as compared to shagaf wood but wood mood and um shake out shiak um the lax edition are quite similar if you have one you absolutely do not need the other you know they are both oriental you know typical middle eastern vibes but you do not need those two if you have one and even um i can add bawadi to it i find bawadi to be like um a more masculine version of wood mood you know while i find wood mood to be a little more um, feminine so if you have shagaf uh, if you have wood mood you do not need bawadi you also do not need um shake al shuk um lax edition those three you know are quite similar the next one i want to talk about is kima by latafa which has been known to be a dupe of um, Carolina Harris, Good Girl, Leger. And I believe if you have this one, you have no need to have um, been to run. They are quite similar with a diff like little differences here and there. This one has a little bit of some green touch to it, but in the end, they smell very much alike. So if you have Kima, which is a beautiful, um, sultry, um, feminine scent, you absolutely have no need for Bint Run or vice versa. I love Bint Run. It's like a very beautiful one. That one is more pronounced in that, um, cacao or, you know, um, chocolate vibe that, um, Good Girl has. Whilst this one has a little bit of some green touch to it. But if you have one, you have, to, you have no need for, um, the other. So this is Kima by Latafa versus Bint Run. This next one is by Pandora Scent, and this is Lani Pandora, obviously a deep of um, Lani Crisol, and it's a very beautiful, fruity, strawberry, you know, sexy, sultry one. If you have this one, 
you can just forgo um just have gold um which is also a deep of um lamy trisol you can equally forgo modex do which is also a very good deep of um lamy trisol this one is like a much more affordable version i think this one is much more affordable even than the just the um gold and um modex do but they all give you the same vibe you know that sultry fruity um sensual feminine um Lamitri soul vibe. Just that this one is a little watered down, you know. But if you have this one, you absolutely have no need for those two Modex two and um, Jazab Gold. You know, some houses can be so um, aggressive with their dupes, with you know coming too close to comfort when it comes to the original versions. You know that I've had sort of um, um, some criticisms against, you know, but some of these ones are quite different from the, the, you know, the original versions. They are not like an obvious dupe, you know, so sometimes it's not like so obvious for you to say, okay, this one is stupid A or C. And that is what I like about dupes. I believe, um, I think I heard recently that um, um, Latafa has, is having a lawsuit with um, a brand because of how they've copied their, you know, their Tom Ford um, range with their, you know, that Latafa range. So probably moving forward, a lot of these houses are going to be a little more cautious with how they, 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 they dupe everything. I believe there should be some, you know, caution which i i think it's in the right direction so if they are duping and they, they will dupe it with a different name altogether with a different bottle that is not like um in your face dupe. that is going to help the houses at least to maintain their you know their um, their house style you know if i should put it that way thank you so much for staying through all this video and i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up i would truly appreciate that i hope to see you in my next one take care bye bye